exercise 3.3 class 10 chapter 3 and for NCRT exemplar. So we will be going ahead with exercise 3.3 question 17. So we will be discussing all that questions which is little bit tricky to understand and I am sure that will be really helpful for you all for your exams. Now we will start with this question. Question says the age of the father is twice the sum of the ages of his two children. Now, after 20 years, his age will be equal to the sum of the ages of his children. Now, we need to find the age of the father. Now, before starting up with the solution, please share, like and subscribe this video if you really like it. And if you need to add on something, like uh, going ahead with some other questions, please write it down so that we can help you in learning this question or understanding that question. Starting it with that, give it a try for sure and once you are ready with the solution, please come back and refer this video and see if it's correct, whatever solution you've written, if it's correct, good job. If it's not, please see where we went wrong so that you'll be able to understand that where is the problem which we are facing. I'll let you know the points wherein students make mistakes and I hope that will be really, that they'll really work for you. Now, uh, we will be starting with the solution of this question. Uh, we have pair of linear equations in two variables and we need to find the age of the father. So, the first thing is let the age of the father be x years. Now, what do we take y as? Good try. Yes, very good. Now, age of the father be x years and sum of the ages of two children and let sum of the ages of his two children be y years. Now, students make mistake generally that we have ages of two children. So, we can take uh, age of one children as uh, y and age of another children as z. But we already ha we have only pair of linear equations in two variables. So, we will be going ahead with only two variables and solving it because we didn't go ahead and we didn't understand about how do we solve if we have three variables. So, we will be converting everything in two variables so that we can solve mm -hmm. these questions mm -hmm. accordingly. Now, we got that age of the father the x years and we know that the second thing of y years we will be taking would be sum of ages of two children which we have. Now, after 20 years, after 20 years what happened and before that it's written that age of father is twice the sum of the ages. So, if I will just go ahead with it, I will be getting first equation with the help of these two, age of father which is x. Whenever we get, whenever we get is, were, are, it means equals to because sometimes twice, thrice we become confused that do we need to write 2x equals to y or we need to write x equals to 2y. So, most of the students get confused over here. So, the best logic behind it is whatever it's written, let's say if it's age of the father, just write it down age of the father which is x over here. If we have is, were, was, we can straight away write equals to. The next one is twice, write it down to the sum of the ages, that means y. So, this will be our first equation, that means x minus 2y equals to 0 would be our first equation over here. Now, we go ahead with after 20 years. What happened after 20 years? Now, what will be the age of father after 20 years? That will be x plus 20 years. And what will be sum of ages of two children? That will be y plus 20 years, isn't it? Okay, now let me just tell you over here. This is the mistake which most of the students will do in this question. Why? Because it says that the sum of the ages of his children, that means after 20 years, let's say if once one children, one child is of 10 years old, then after 20 years, he'll be 30 years. What about the second child? It will be, let's say, for 5 years. After 20 years, his age will also increase. So that means 5 will become 25. So what do we need to do? We need to add 20 plus 20. Why? Because we are adding the age of both the children. So, sum of the ages means the first child will become, mm -hmm. every child will become 20 years ahead of it. So, if it's 10, that will be 30. If it be 5, that will be 25. So, sum of the ages will be y 
plus 20 plus 20, wherein increase of the child, increase in the age of the child of both the students will be 20 plus 20 years. So that's why we'll be getting y plus 40 years over here. This is the point where most of the students make mistakes because uh, once you are just done with their equations, then there is little less, little less time so that you can go ahead and solve this question. So most of the students can solve the equations if we get down with two equations and solve and find the answer. But to create an equation, that's the problem which most of the students face. And sometimes the students go ahead with that uh, uh, solution and sometimes students, those who wanted to go ahead with that solution of this question, what they do, they are done with their equations but solving creates problem. But maximum students face problem when they need to create equations. But these little things will add on to it, will add on the mistakes which students do. Now we have x minus 2y equals to 0 as first equation and x plus 20 is age of father and some of the ages of two children will be y plus 40 years not y plus 20 years. Now it says now after 20 years his age that means age of the father will be will be is what equals to straight away you can write equals to the sum of the ages. So we will be writing up straight away the sum of the equation. Now once we will solve this we will be getting x minus y equals to 20. Now we got two equations and we will try and solve both the equations over here. So we got x minus 2y equals to 0 and x minus y equals to 20. We will subtract both of them. So we will change the sign. We can cancel this x out. Minus 2y plus y will be minus y equals 0 minus 20 will be minus 20. So y will be 20 over here. So we got the age y which is 20 years. Now putting the value of y in equation 1. So what do we get? x equals 2 times 20 which is 40. That means x will be 40 years. So what did we get basically? Now we got over here that uh, okay let me just change the color. Now we finally got that age of the father is 40 years. So we got it that age of the father is 40 years where some of the ages of the children are 20 years but they didn't ask about it. They just asked about age of the father. So this is the solution. I hope you understand this question. We are coming up with next question. Till then stay tuned. Thank you.